Covering Colorado first tonight, Denver, Denver detective Michael Felsaki is out of the hospital and back home with his family. He was shot while trying to stop a robbery in Arvada. It happened on 80th and Kipling Wednesday morning. The suspect initially got away, but was later caught up to thanks to a tip about his SUV. 43-year-old Samuel McConnell was arrested Wednesday night, only four miles away from that robbery. He's being held on a million dollars bond after confessing to the crime and another similar armed robbery in Erie earlier this week. Tonight we are learning more about the off-duty police veteran who's setting a good example for future officers. Our Jeff Todd is at Denver Health. Jeff, a lot of people are happy to see this detective getting better. Joel, we were told early on in this case that he was in fair condition, but still spent four days in the hospital. As he walked out of that hospital, he was surrounded by some people very happy to see him headed home. <laughs> it's a great day. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. It made even better and brighter because he got to go home today. Detective Michael Felsaki walked out of Denver Health Saturday afternoon with dozens of other officers cheering him on. It's important to us that we show that support, that we're here for him and his family as a whole. Felsaki has been with Denver Police for 14 years, but has nearly 30 years of law enforcement experience. It was Wednesday morning when he was at a convenience store in Arvada and found out a robbery was in progress. And took some very bold, brave actions to interrupt that crime. That's what police officers do. We step in, take action, and try to take control of things. The suspect in the case, 43-year-old Samuel McConnell, allegedly confessed to the crime and faces charges, including attempted murder. <laughs> Detective Felsaki was shot in both arms. Saturday, his left arm was still in a sling, his right arm with a large bandage wrapping up his forearm. We love you guys. Love you, brother. Very grateful that he's not hurt any worse than he is. A long road of recovery ahead. You couldn't ask for a better Christmas gift as far as I'm concerned. Among the group that cheered on the detective as he left the hospital were recruits in DPD's most recent academy. Today, a vivid and powerful lesson in selfless sacrifice. We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.